Hello everybody, welcome to back to Cure for the Common Game. Today in deck number 541, we're going to talk about Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Now, 3 mana 6-6 six, six sounds, you know, like a dream, but when it enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless it escapes. So when you cast this from the command zone the first time, it is going to come into play and then go to the graveyard. Uh, I guess you have a choice to put it back in the command zone if you want, but... Let's keep reading. To whenever Uro enters the battlefield or attacks, so it's a true titan, you gain three life, draw a card, and make a land drop. That's really good. <laughs> now, escape for double-double. Uh, you exile five other cards. So, we are going to... Probably on turn three, lay our third land uh, and cast Uro just pretty much to, you know, triple zone from the command zone to play to the graveyard and uh, net in the three life, the card draw and the fourth land drop. So uh, now the object here is to get obviously Uro into play because you want that attack trigger. It, it's a, uh, it's kind of good. Draw a card, drop a land, gain three life. I, I mean, they're all incremental, but man, they're all really good. So for the ramp, I chose to do the Simic Signet is the only rock in the deck. Well, okay. That's loose. We'll get to that in a minute. But cards like Farseek, yes, it does plus one your mana, but it also puts a card in your graveyard, the Farseek it, itself. So so things like Farseek, Harrow, Rampant Growth, Kodama's Reach, Map the Waste, Natural Connection, Ranger's Path, Colony Heart Expedition, Growth Spasm, Explore, Sylvan Scrying. Fork in the Road is actually beautiful because it puts a land into your hand and then a land into your graveyard. So it, Fork in the Road for the same price as Rampant Growth. Now granted the land does not come into play, but it puts two cards in your graveyard and one into your hand. So you get to make that land drop with Uro and you have two more cards in the graveyard. To escape uh, into the north. All of my forest in the deck are snow covered forest. Uh, would be more. Uh, the islands would be too if I had any more snow covered islands, but I've used all those up. Uh, growth spiral. Because you know what? Draw a card, drop a land. And then urban evolution, draw three, drop a land. Uh, so it's. That was the very first place I went, and I was like, well, that's a whole lot of spells. So, I, I went to, let's draw some cards, you know. We're going to frantic search. I mean, it's drawing two and discarding two. So, we're putting three into the graveyard. That all, 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 almost gets us there. We have Thought Scour, which for one mana, puts a card in our hand, three cards in our graveyard. So, the possibility of playing Uro pretty quick is there. Uh, of course, we have Opt, Anticipate, Catalog. I love the draw and the discard. Uh, compulsive Research. Now, uh, how we used to abuse... I say abuse. Wow, it's doing the exact opposite of what you normally want to do. Compulsive Research says... Target player draws three, and then that player discards two cards unless they discard land. Now, a lot of times you actually want to discard the two. So if your intention is to discard two and one of them be a land, it needs to be the second card you discard. Because if you discard the land, it fulfills the clause, and yeah, that's it. Uh, so if you, if you need to discard two cards and one of them needs to be a land, make sure to do that secondly. Uh, think twice. Also, I mean, 
this is good. It, it does draw you a card. Flashback is is kind of nominal. Uh, we do have self mill cards, so flashback may matter. And then the good old fashioned looter. Yeah. Now here's where the mana rock thing gets kind of fuzzy, because uh, I am running these um, you know artifacts that. Uh, kind of put themselves in the graveyard that make mana draw cards you know the chromatic star the chromatic sphere Terion, and arkham's astrolabe so that's why you know it, it it does they replace themselves draw cards whatever now veilstone amulet is a very powerful artifact that I don't use a lot. I'll be honest with you. I, I think this is the last copy I've got right now. But we have so many instants in the deck that if someone cast a removal spell targeting our Uro, because that's I mean that's what we're doing, right? Uh, we're playing Uro and plan on going the distance with it. So this, yeah, it's a great card. Now, creature-wise, we have a uh, uh, coiling oracle, which is you know just sheer value, as well as the eternal witness. Wild mongrel can uh, that can get us there for escape. Noose constrictor, I there again that can get us there too. Uh, it's Pretty much the same card as Wild Mongrel, although instead of changing color, this has reach. And then, you know, thing in the eyes, because like I said, we're casting a ton of instant sorceries. So, having a big giant beater is not bad. But let's talk about our, our, our last creature in Bioessence Hydra. Now, I have, I have been looking to... Oh, I have been looking to put Bioessence Hydra in a deck since, since the set came out. War. But, yes, on the surface, it is a 5-mana 4-4 trample. But it enters the battlefield with a plus 1 for each of loyalty on a walker you control. Okay. But when your loyalty on your walkers goes up, you this gets that many counters. So that's pretty sweet. So, uh, one of the first cards I put in, in the deck was just Ogo Thief of Crowns. Because... Of just the inherent, you know, bustedness of it. It's repeatable removal. And, I mean, that's good. That's just a great... Uh, and I love the fact that it doesn't destroy. It just turns their commander into a 3-3 elk. So it doesn't change zones, so they don't have the option to put it back in the command zone. I mean, I don't have to preach about how good Oko is. Uh, I think this may be the only format left. No, there's like Vintage and Legacy, but it takes a lot to get banned there. Um, Nissa, Steward of Elements. Lander creature, you know. Scry 2 is not bad either. Tamiel Collector of Tales. Now, I, I just used the walkers that were like you know, just Simic. Uh, spells and abilities can't cause us to discard or sacrifice. So that's really good, especially most of the time we're only going to have that one creature, Uro, and if somebody edicts us, Tamiyo's got her back. And then we have Kiora, just, you know, because who doesn't want 9-9 nine -nine giant Krakens? Uh, let's see here. Let's roll through removal, shall we? Uh, counter spell. Now, I know a lot of people do not consider counter magic removal, but let's face it, it, it is. It is the epitome of card per card. Uh, you know, typically your counter spell type cards are, you know, I'm playing one spell to negate the effect of your one spell. Card for card. Where the advantage comes in is. I know I have the counterspell, you don't, and I can trade my two mana tempo 
for your five, six, whatever mana, and I can stop your win condition. But all things being equal, card count wise, it's the same. But a lot of times, Counterspell is the same thing as, you know, a Doomblade or whatever. But anyway, uh, we have uh, Naturalize, Return to Nature, Ovenize, Mystic Repeal. Y'all know I love that card. Dispel. Man, I love Dispel. Uh, Narciss Reversal. Veil of Summer here again. Don't have to tell you how good it is. Uh, Spell Pierce. Trigon Predator. Because this is repeatable artifact and enchantment destruction. And right now I feel like that can't be valued enough. Um, and then Winged Codal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Simic Murder. It's exactly what it is. Uh, it can block anything because it has flying. It's an instant because it has flash. And it has death touch so it says destroy target creature. Declare my attacks. I'm going to flash in wing Codal and block. Yeah, they can respond to it and kill it, but you know what? You're, you still got rid of a card. <laughs> when you play wing Codal, it's all about parity, right? Killing something. Um, Vision Charm. Okay, I, I think this may be the first commander deck I'm playing Vision Charm in. Target artifact phases out, which is not bad. If somebody's using an artifact to as part of their combo, you can delay it a turn by phasing it out. Uh, target player mills four cards. A lot of times this is what we need. This gets us there. Just Vision Charm alone. That's five cards. Or all lands of one type are basic lands of your choice of another. Now this is an instant. So you can actually effectively skip a player's turn. Am I reading that right? All lands of one type. So if if you've got a, a, a model color player out there and during their upkeep you vision charm all forests are now planes well the model green deck is just not casting anything. So I don't know. The charms are the early charms there was um the three abilities were okay. You know, all three were just kind of okay. The the more and more... See, this was the very first iteration of charms. The more they iterated on them, the better the charms got. Vessel of Nascency. Yeah. Puts a card in your hand, the rest in your graveyard, along with this enchantment. Uh, we have Thassa's Intervention. What is that? Blue the top X cards, put two of them. Super scry two. <laughs> Grapple with the pass. Ranger's Gal. Now I love me some Ranger's Gal. Plus one and hexproof for one mana. Kind of saves our guy. Uh, uh, reclaim and recollect. Yes, I would be running a regrowth as well if I had another one. Uh, winding way. Zendikar's Royal. Favor of the Overbeing is really good on a, on a Simic Commander. Imagine giving Uro plus two, plus two, Vigilance, and Flying. Yeah, right? Uh, shielding Plaques, not real bad. Uh, replaces itself. And then it gives it Hexproof. But the last non-land card I want to talk about is Simic Ascendancy. Now, I know we only have one creature in the deck that rotates around counters. But... This is another alternate win condition. It, it does allow you to put mana colon counters. So, and we got a lot of ramp. We're, uh, along with Uro, uh, dropping lands into play and drawing us cards, we're, we're going to have more mana than normal. So, uh, getting 20 counters on this is probably not going to be a problem. So let's look at our non-basics, shall we? Uh, we're going to start off with Yavamaya Coast, Woodland Stream, of course the Guild Gate, Sky Shroud Forest. Why do I have basic islands in there? Uh, Transguild Promenade, Terramorphic. Now, 
the Terramorphic e Expanse, Evolving Wilds, and Bant Panorama, the reason why I'm loving those so much in here is because it fixes your mana, but it also puts a card into the graveyard for Uro to escape later on. So, not bad. Our last card, oh, excuse me, Rogue's Passage. Of course, you saw that coming. Um, that, that way, Uro does not get out classed in combat. Right? Because that's the last thing we want to happen. Go through all that work. And I'll be honest with you. I don't know that this is the right Uro build. Um, I may not. It may not stick. You get what, what, what I'm saying? Um, I know there's way cooler things to do with him. Or with it, rather. Uh, but... I just wanted to cast him. I just wanted to cast a row and just get it in the red zone. Uh, I mean, that's what I was trying to do. And it does kind of have that um, extra loophole you got to jump through, you know, because you can't just cast it from the command zone. It's got to be, you got to do it from another zone, which is kind of like, you know, Hakon or, I guess Hakon's a little harder. Uh, because Hakon, you've got to get from the command zone to the graveyard. Well, Uro, Uro, you've got to do that too. But you can do it by way of casting it. You can't even cast Hakon. You've just got to use cards to put it from the command zone into your hand, which there's not that many. And then you've got to get it from your hand to the graveyard, which is pretty easy. But anyway, I guess uh, Phage is like that too. But that is number 541. Start a new row. But... Yeah, I, I feel like it's a good starting point for Uro. I, I really do. Uh, I kind of like that walkers thing, you know. Um, I may dive a little deeper into the blue and the green walkers. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But right now, oh, hey, uh, this is, uh, let's see, what is this, Thursday? So... We are having a uh, the FNM at the local game shop, the Collector's Connection in Dyersburg, Tennessee, is having Commander Night for e or uh, for for FNM for like the first time ever. So uh, he's trying new things, and obviously, twenty twenty is the uh, the year of Commander. That's kind of the the focus, and there's. He's seen an uptick in people interested in Commander. So he, he's going to give it a try, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to be there. Um, I will. I know I know this is watched throughout the world, and but if you live close, uh, Friday, I guess that would be tomorrow. Um, my tomorrow. I don't know when you're watching this, uh, but that would be, uh, let's see, what is that? February 7, 2 7. So, um, anyway, uh, it's got a good shop there. And uh, uh, comic books and games, board games, pop figures, you know, stuff like that. Uh, if you want to head on over to uh, uh, Dice Dice Kitty, is a YouTube channel right here on, on YouTube. Uh, she does the every Tuesday, if you're interested in like new comics and stuff that come out, even if, if you're not in the local area. Um, just to see the new comics that come out. Uh, Tuesday, they do the unboxing of all the new stuff that comes into the shop. So if you're going to be in the area, if you're looking to stop by, or if you're just curious to what's coming out in the comic game store world, you know, because um, everything comes in on Tuesday. I mean, now granted the comics, he can't sell till Wednesday, obviously, but, but this way it gives you a day. And, um, but she does uh she does a lot of a lot of like gameplay video for other games um uh we did to, to me and her to bust it open a, a box of uh, star trek uh a couple weeks ago but uh she's real heavy into star trek so you know my kind of people <laughs> anyway wow um uh, i'm gonna cut this off because we're approaching 20 minutes now uh and Yeah. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think. 
But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.